Come in. Well, look who it is. You stay here tonight, girl. Come here, Arthur. Hola. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. I can, Bill. This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an old Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew, just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. 
Molly, come on. No, that's different. See, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. <laughs> you got that right. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some quick cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. How poke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Let's go, girl.
think nothing would shock me these days. Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And All I'll right. tell you, on. you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <laughs> <laughs> I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. Oh, no, this you don't. This one's mine, so you can go ah! get it. Ah! 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 Next time, avoid me.
Better watch it. as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. No, it was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Do you call me a gossip? Good evening, sir. Still with us. Don't rush me, I'll get to you. Well, hello again. I got another one. All right, well, you come back if you change your mind. Okay, girl. Yeah. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. 
Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first. See if anyone's on our trail. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Just calm down. Now, let's have a look. Sold a few of those to some very discerning customers. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. I could put some sights on that if you're interested. Hmm. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. All right. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. See Mr. Banks across the way there? He ain't the friendliest at first, but he's nice enough when you get to know him. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. I outfitted the sheriff and all his deputies, you know. Yes, sir, I did. Oh, I'm real excited to try this. Time to make your head home. You won't believe this, Charlie. Didn't put axe in grease. Point that gun at me, and we'll see which ditch you end up in. Nice gun. Why don't you put that down? Enough of this horse shit.
should get out of here. I'm sure this attracted some attention. You all right, girl? Thank <laughs> you.